Since we released Aurea, users around the world have been enjoying precise and simple control of their immersive mixes. Now we are proud to announce the Aurea iPad Remote, designed to bring Aurea's flexibility and control to your fingertips. In this video, we will be looking in detail at all of the features of the Aurea iPad Remote, showing how each page works, as well as how to get the most out of using a touch surface to control your immersive and stereo productions. Upon opening the Aurea iPad Remote, you will be presented with a first use guide, which gives you a brief tour of the app and its core functionality. You can either click next to cycle through the demonstration or skip entirely using the options presented on the screen. On the left side of the screen, you can see the navigation sidebar. This gives you access to all the pages in the Aurea iPad Remote. This sidebar is available on every page. First, we will look at the home page. The home page is the main control center for your Aurea, giving you quick access to all of Aurea's key monitoring features on a single screen. Here we can see your four favorite profiles for changing speaker sets and calibration setup with a single button press. This window also has a link button to take you to the full profiles page. Next to this, we can see the speaker mute and solo controls, which are applicable to the predefined speaker groups, such as the front speakers or height speakers. On the right, we can see a small version of the metering panel, showing all 16 speaker levels and a link button to take you to the full metering page. At the bottom, we can see the monitoring panel, the heart of the Aurea iPad remote experience. Here, using the drop-down menu, we can change the input source, and when the Dolby Atmos renderer is connected, we can choose down mix options that are connected directly to the renderer. The volume control has an auto lock feature designed to prevent accidental volume changes. Tap the volume control to unlock and slide to adjust the level. When auto lock is enabled in the settings, using another control on the same page will engage the auto lock feature to prevent any unwanted interaction with the volume control. On the right are global monitoring controls, mute, dim, mono, and phase invert for checking your mixes are translating properly. The monitoring window also has an expander button to take you to the full monitoring page. On the room page, we can see individual controls for speakers in the array. If a speaker is playing audio, it will illuminate with the waveform graphic. To mute a speaker, press its icon and it will go gray to signify muting. Press the same speaker icon again to remove its mute status. To solo a speaker, hold press on its icon and the view will change to the solo indicator. To clear all mutes or solos, at the bottom of the screen a clear mute and clear solo button will appear. Press these once to clear all mute or solo states. On the left there is the section to switch between the four favorite profiles. This corresponds with the favorite profile you have set in the desktop app. And below is the section to quickly mute or solo full speaker groups, which we can see reflected in the speaker status in the room view. In the top right of every page below the home page is an X button that closes the room view and brings you back to the home page. On the monitoring page, there is a more expanded version of level controls, including top four profiles, volume with auto lock, input source and Dolby Atmos renderer status, speaker mute and solo groups, and the global speaker control functions at the bottom, mute, dim, mono, and polarity. In addition to this, an extra button has been added for reference level. Pressing this will return your volume level to a predefined value set on the Aurea desktop app. The metering page shows a full scale set of 16 meters for up to 9.1.6 monitoring, including peak DBFS values at the top of the meters. This metering can be changed from pre-processing, which represents the audio being sent to Aurea, to post-processing, which takes into account the calibration, bass management and volume control to show the levels of the final output. On the Profiles page, there is access to all the profiles available on the Aurea unit for calibration, speaker selection, and bass management. At the top are the four favorite profiles, and below the line are the other profiles stored on Aurea. To change the order of the profiles, refer to the Aurea desktop app. 
On the connectivity page, you can see available devices on the network, letting you connect to an available Aurea or test the app in demo mode using the dummy ADM. When connecting to an Aurea, a prompt will appear to save the device for automatic connection the next time you use the Aurea iPad remote. In the settings menu, you can choose between dark and light mode or follow the system default. Below there is a setting to auto lock the volume control for safety. And that's it, you can now control Aurea from your iPad. If you need any further help, please contact our support team. For now, have fun mixing immersive.